one of the, the main things and one of my main practices around content creation is really pulling my audience a lot. So it doesn't really matter who you're marketing to. The thing that we need to know about content is what is the main fire that your audience needs putting out? You know, like what is the thing that they want so badly they would pay for it? And what I like to do is I like to create content around that that's completely free so that when my people um, consume that content, they feel like, oh my gosh. And I, I, I have people say this to me all the time. I've paid thousands of dollars for what you just taught me and you just did it for free. And you have like a raving fan if that happens. So one of my big practices, which is kind of a step um, before creating the content is number one, I'm going to break this down. I go to my, my audience, like my really making sure they're my ideal client and a lot of my hottest leads. Don't ask feedback from people who are not your ideal client. That's a huge mistake a lot of business owners make. They ask their husband or like, or their spouse or someone else, like, what do you think about this? Well, you're asking the wrong person. So number one, go to the right people who really fit your target market profile. And you need to ask them, you know, what's the, what's the number one thing you'd want me to share content about or the number one problem that you want solved? What's keeping you up at night? So that you're really getting in their head and you're not just listening for what they need help with. You're listening to the words they use, the tone that they're using, because you want to make sure that you're really understanding what is that thing that's keeping them up at night, because that motivation is going to have them saying yes um, easily if it was paid, but really easily, it's going to be a no brainer for something for free. Right? So that's step one. Once you identify, let's just say a general topic, that's when I would move to step two. I would then go back to the drawing board, give yourself some time to be creative and decide upon some titles for this piece of content that is like a really sexy title because people have to feel like when you tell them, oh, this is the title of this content, they have to want to say yes right then. And so sometimes you'll put time into making great content, but if you didn't listen to the words they were using, you might use some language that makes them think, oh, I don't know if I need that, even though they just told you that's the fire they need putting out. So I go back to the drawing board in step two, and I've taken notes when I pull my audience, and maybe it was a survey or just talking to them on the phone, and I craft those titles using their words that are really about the benefits that are possible, you know, like how to X, Y, Z, so you can benefit, benefit, you know, like some kind of really sexy title like that. And I might have like a few different titles. Okay. So that's step two. I figure out that topic. I craft some sexy titles and I move on to step three. I go back to my audience and making sure again, that they're the really the right people. And that's when I say, Hey, what do you think about this content? And I only ask them the titles, maybe a few bullets that say, oh, you'll learn how to, like maybe three of those along with the title. And this is a really important tip when you go to step three, because you're polling again. You never want to ask somebody, hey, put these in order. That is the wrong way to pull audience, because what they're going to do is they're going to tell you relatively how much they like one thing compared to the other. So they might think they all suck. And they might be like, well, this sucks the least. And then this one, you don't want to do that. You want to go to them and say, tell me if this on each title, like how much does this interest you one to 10 and why, you know, or if this doesn't, why not? And how would you change it? You want to be asking the right questions. And so when you go back, let's say you have three sexy titles and they, you know, they rate one of them 10 out of 10 right there. You haven't created any content yet. You just know you're on the money. So then you go back and you create it. Um, and depending on whatever your purpose is, you want to make sure that this content you're creating is going to align with a launch or a business deal, 